Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 16 by 20 inch canvas and something like a plan. I'm going to put some black on the outside edges. I'm going to make a diagonal swipe. I'm going to use my smaller OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula available on my Amazon link. Probably going to fill the center with some white. This is my mead and black with a little bit of water in it, which is incredibly black, and I love that about it. And the little tiny bit of water makes it flow and spread so easily. I kind of like to bring that right into the center, but I'm not sure that it's important. And the thinner I make it, the faster it's going to dry. If it dries fast enough, it'll work well. I suppose I could always add some more. That might be the ticket. That way I at least have a base layer. Not that swipes really require much of that in my opinion, depending on your methodology. And yeah, it's a leaf shape. I've got a little more paint left than I need. I'm gonna throw that in the, I'm gonna wipe that off of my Lola Fee silicone mat so I can put some other paint on top of it at some point. And make a skin out of it. I'm going to put some Anita's white metallic in the center. Let it spread around for a second. And then I think I'm just going to add my colors in groups and see what happens. That was a amethyst metallic from Artist Loft. This is a neon purple from Folk Art that I've added iridescent pearl fine to. This is dioxazine purple from Modern Masters. This is some more Anita's white metallic with a little bit of uh, Venetian blue in it. So I'm going to, this time, I'm going to take my card. You know what? I'm changing my plan. I'm just going to take my container of Amsterdam Black and dip a card right into it. And see how I like that. Now I've got enough on the other side. It occurs to me I didn't put any of my hot orchid in there and I want some. I've just always wanted to do this one section at a time and I've just never had the nerve. I really just want to wipe that off right down there. Because I can and it's a good experiment. And that's not as geometric as I had intended, but that's okay. We'll, we'll survive this. This is a very red orange. I have no idea. That is a Velveeta, which was a modern master's, or master's touch, excuse me. And I added yellow to it. Let's go back in, dip my card. I think I'm going to use some more of that right here and put some Golden Hour, which is a metallic from Arteza, and a little gold, and 
a little more of that orange. And I have enough black left on my card. So I can just bring it in there and I'm wondering if I want to use, I have a copious amount of pink in that bottle so I'm thinking I want to use the leftover color on my card. I kind of want some pink in there, actually. So, let me grab a smaller card and see how I feel about that. So now I get to decide what's next. I'm thinking that I want to use some of my Venetian blue, which should be coming to hand. There it is, hiding. And it's not open. Okay. I could have sworn I grabbed that a moment ago and cleaned it out. So let's be patient with me for a second. And my color groupings are okay. They're kind of similar. Well, sort of. It's, it's sort of working. I think it would take a couple of tries for me to get... Come on, go back on. <laughs> my, my threads have paint in them and I need to clean them out and I don't want to take the time right now. And that's quite a bit of paint because I really think I'm going to go all the way down here with this next one, which begs the opportunity of grabbing a smaller card or a round card. Yes, I'm going to just take my paint. Oh, come on. <laughs> I shook this up already, so I want that right there. I'm going to apply it right to my card. I want to take my residuals and use them. Now I have a nice white negative space left that I should not want to do anything to, but unfortunately I kind of do. I'm going to scrape off the paint from one card. A little pressure. What do I want to do? I kind of want some orange in there. And then, what did I do to that little bottle? See what happens. When I blow it out. That's a small bottle. I keep losing the bottle. Should have blown it out first, actually. The color, I mean. Well, that's kind of cool. I'm okay with that. I'm wondering if I want to do some more stuff. I know you're coming off. Maybe not. Okay, there. That was just par for the course. So what do I do now? I like blending pink with things, and I love this pink. Not as much on that white spot. 
The cells are tremendous. I'm going to try and remember to add the recipe, which is my regular recipe is under the video, and it's three quarters slow troll mixed with 25% GAC 800 by Golden. That was just a little bit of canvas. I'm not sure what else I need. I think in another in another existence, I could probably that needs to go. <laughs> I could probably use a lot of skewers. I could probably do this technique and uh, and enjoy a palette knife too. So I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. And look at this for another second and make sure I don't want anything else. And I kind of do want something else already. If I could just put my hands on the exact bottle. And there are so many bottles. I think that'll work. So this is a good moment for me to try my experiment with blown out paint. There. She says there, but we know she's not done. I'm almost done. I promise I'm almost done. I think so. <laughs> Can't trust me. Okay. So, done or not? So close. That's, it's getting closer to what I have in mind. <laughs> Come out. Always a risk. Adding more colors to something that's already cool. But I just have something in mind, that's all. And that's it. I don't promise, but I think that's it. So I'm going to torch. I'm going to decide if I want to see that orange spot there anymore. See if I can do what I usually do, just to, just to roll it up. And pick it up that way. If you didn't know it was there, you wouldn't hardly notice it. So I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint right after I put the lid back on my Amsterdam black that has drops of pre-stain pre wood conditioner from Minwax in it. I think I'm going to blow this red line out too. I have a little tiny container of pink here somewhere. I guess I'll settle for the bigger one. If you're new here, <laughs> be warned. I can say I'm done and it won't mean anything <laughs> quite a few times. 
But that's pretty cool and I'm happy with it. And I need to torch to release the bubbles coat in the paint. I got a minute left, which is cool. It's got a little hook on it now. That's interesting. There's almost no gold in there. Torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Torch if I'm lucky to make patterns. I have over 18 lists with 100 videos each on them. Playlists. Go to creative playlists, all playlists on my YouTube channel banner. Excuse me, on my YouTube channel. On my YouTube channel, you're going to find the uh, PayPal and Patreon icons, which will allow you to make a donation if you're if you're interested in helping support the studio and create videos, and it will get you automatically entered in the monthly drawing, and you can see the prizes for the monthly drawing on the exhibition video shared with you on the end screen in the last 20 seconds of every video. What else do I need to tell you guys? I have a link tree underneath the video. You can find my website there. You can find Pixels.com, Fine Art America, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Appreciation Group is for students. I'm going to zoom in on this. Oh, that's nice from up here. That's a huge cell. Anyway, so my timer's going off. Oh, I've got two minutes left to tell you guys that I love you, and if you want to help me out, it'd be great if you wanted to do that by sharing my videos giving me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for the wonderful kind kind words you give me. Share with me all the time. Keep my morale boosted while I'm searching for my viewers. Um, what else? Amazon link is on the link tree and it has all over print leggings and all those. Oh, excuse me. Wow. My Amazon link is on the link tree and it has my two books, volumes one and volumes two, because I can and unlimited possibilities. Also underneath the link tree link, you'll find my clothing from Teespring. And if you want to see anything added there, let me know. But it's all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts and all kinds of other cool stuff. And uh, anytime you want me to add something to my inventory at Fine Art America or Pixels.com, just ask. If you would like to leave me a comment and ask me a question, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm all over the place. My email address is below the link tree. And I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And I also sell my artwork. And that is possibly the best way you could possibly support the studio because it's not inexpensive. I, I protect my collectors. My prices are maintained at a strict recipe. And you need to find that out by inquiring if you want to. Thank you guys for everything again. Thank you for the donations that help keep me painting. I'm sure I've missed something. Oh, all the playlists that you're looking for are also uh, divided into topic and genre. And if you ever want a link for anything, just ask me. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, I will see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Did I zoom in enough? I hope so. <laughs>